What's up y'all, Alvin here, and this is all my favorite gear for catching bass on the fly. I tell the good jokes. <laughs> All right, so I've made a bunch of videos about bass on the fly. Uh, I'll link that up here and in the description as well. I do get a lot of people asking me about specific gear that I use, what rod, what reel, what line, all that type of stuff. So I thought I would make a video to cover that exact gear I'm using. So for a rod, it is gonna be the nine foot, four piece, six weight Orvis H3D. That's the distance model, <laughs> the stiffer rod. There are occasions where I'll go up to a seven and even an eight weight rod, but day in and day out, the first rod I'm gonna grab is this six weight. It is really light, so it's not a problem blind casting all day with it. It's got plenty of backbone, so I can land some pretty good sized fish with it. And combined with the line that I use on here, I can actually throw some pretty large bass bugs with it. Now there's lots of other rods that'll get the job done. You don't have to spend this much money, but this is the best one that I've found for my everyday bass fishing. So that's where I'm gonna start. And moving on, the next part of my everyday bass fishing favorite gear is <laughs> the reel. And this is Orvis Mirage LT3. So this is a perfect size for six weight. It's a large arbor, although with bass fishing, you know, you're not usually dealing with a lot of long runs. So you could probably do just as well with the small arbor reel, but everybody's making large arbor reels nowadays. And that's what I got. I've got about 150 yards of backing on it. Not that I need 150 yards of backing, but that sort of maximizes that large arbor effect by putting more backing on there. You just get an even larger arbor. For the line, I've got the Orvis six weight bank shot line, floating line. You'd think I would have a bass bug taper, but this line is like even more extreme than a bass bug taper. So it's a really heavy line. It's really short taper. Most of the weight is up front, loads the rod really quickly, and you can fire out some casts over and over to hit the bank, hence the name of the bank shot. <laughs> now it does kind of fall apart when you try to make a longer cast because of the short head, you hit the running line pretty soon. So it's a lot better for making a lot of short to medium distance casts quickly, you know, pretty aggressively. It's not as great for making a long line, although I do make long casts with it, you end up just shooting more line and it's not quite as accurate. But the thing about it is I can throw some much larger bass flies on this six weight than I could with most other six weight floating lines. So that's my go-to. And it's been a, a bit of trial and error to decide on this one. Um, and like I said, it does have its advantages, but as far as everyday casting goes for what I'm doing, seems to get the job done the best. All right, so moving along, the leader, and this is why I have all this stuff here. <laughs> the leader is actually a hand tied leader. I do like to use pre-tapered leaders, and if somebody hands me one or if I have one, I will definitely put that on before I go to the trouble of tying my own leader. But usually I've got my own leader on there because like a pretty short, pretty stout leader, and most of the, the pre-tapered leaders are a little bit longer and not quite as heavy as I like to use. So I end up tying a lot of my own leaders. I've made several videos on tying leaders and knots for tying leaders. I will link stuff up here and put stuff in the description so you can find all that. Usually what I'm gonna have is everything from 60 pound test down to 20 pound test. So 60, 50, 40, 35, 25, and 20. And I'll usually have two spools of 20 because believe it or not, 20 pound is my tippet. That's kind of just based on the diameter of this Orvis Super Strong Tippet. Now 20 pound saltwater, 
may be a little bit too heavy, but this 20 pound super strong is uh, about the right diameter for most of the stuff that I'm throwing. Really it is more about the diameter for delivering these flies than it is about the pound test. You may be able to find 16 pound test that is actually a larger diameter than this. Um, you may be able to find 30 pound test that's smaller diameter. But when you're throwing big bass flies, especially on a six weight rod, it's more about the diameter than anything else. And this is about the right diameter. Now, if I'm gonna go stealthy, I do usually have a spool of like 1X tippet. <laughs> this is when I'm trying to be, uh, you know, make a delicate presentation. <laughs> but that is about as light as I'm gonna go most of the time when I'm bass fishing. So I'll have that along with the other stuff so I can make my own leaders. All right, so when you make your leaders or when you put your fly on, when you change flies, you gotta have something to cut the leader with. And this is uh, my go-to setup for my clippers and retrievers. Um, this is the Gerber Defender Compact. And the thing I like about this one is that it has this little built-in belt clip. So I just clip that on my belt on the way out the door and I don't have to remember where my clippers are. They're always hanging right there by my side. <laughs> for clippers, I use the Gerber Free Hander. It's uh, nice and wide. I like that. They're sharp. They've got a little, a little spike in there for cleaning out the hook eyes. And it has this cool little deal here. You can stick the end of your leader in, your tippet in. So if you're fumbling around doing something else, looking for a fly, this will hold on to your tippet so you don't have to look around on the ground and figure out where did my leader go when I let go of it. <laughs> also like to mention that I have links to a lot of this stuff in the description as well. If you decide you want to check this stuff out or buy any of this stuff, if you use the links, I do get a tiny commission, but it costs you the same amount. So if you use the links, I appreciate it, but it ain't no big deal either way. <laughs> so that is all of my gear. If I was gonna go bass fishing, this is what I have. Now, of course, I would have some flies, so I will uh, link in the description and up here to my top five favorite bass flies. Check that out. <laughs> All right, so I wanna thank you once again for watching this video. If you liked it, give it the thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. You know, that really does help me out a lot. And I'm gonna do some kind of giveaway when I hit a certain number, and who knows what that number, because I'm not really sure what that number is. But the more of you who subscribe, the closer we will be to that number. <laughs> and I'm gonna give away all kinds of cool stuff. All right. Once again, thanks. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. And in the meantime, good luck on the water.